So, anyway, um, I figured for this video I'll just read another inspiration and prayer from my Bible app. I hope you all like these. Um, I, know, I understand they're like quick, short videos, but I only pick the ones that I think pertain to us as an Imperial group. So, as always, I do uh, recommend you get this app for yourself. It's the King James Bible app. Um, maybe the next one I do, I'll put a picture of the app in the, in the uh, video. But anyway, here we go. So we'll start off with the night prayer. James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So what's that verse telling us? There is a crown to be won. You will be rewarded in heaven based on your actions here on earth. I hope everyone realizes this. That's why I stress service for the empire a lot. You know, you don't want to get up into heaven and realize, oh, you don't have any works. Now, before those of you that uh, think that, oh, he's going to say you need works to get into heaven. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you also need to remember that faith without works is dead. Okay, but well, what I am telling you is, when you get into heaven, you will be judged your, off your works, us Christians. Now, notice I said when you get into heaven, not you'll be judged off your works and then you'll get into heaven. But uh, anyway, so you want to serve the empire, okay? You are under this state as a Christian. Jesus Christ is your emperor, your king, whatever you want to call him. He is your autocrat, sole rule, you know? So get off your lazy rear end and get to work. <laughs> But anyway, so here's the inspiration section. All of us have experienced severe tests of our faith. Many Christians have also had to endure persecution for their beliefs. James explains the importance of keeping faith, standing strong, and holding on to your beliefs. This lesson from James was perhaps given with some foresight into the coming trials for early Christians who were persecuted and killed for believing in Christ. It still happens today in some parts of the world. But strengthen your faith in difficult times. Do this and reap the ultimate reward. This is important, everybody. We live in a degenerate world. I could rant and rant and rant about how evil the world is right now. And it's just going to get worse. It is just going to get worse. It is not going to get better, people. So right now, we need to cling to God. Cling to Christ. Never give up. Never turn your back on Him hold on to him with all you've got because now more than ever the world is bent on destroying Christianity destroying traditional values destroying everything that's good and just in the world we are watching the death of good now don't be surprised we all knew this was going to happen remember that earth is not your final home you have paradise to look forward to. Okay? Paradise. Not this world. But while you're here, serve the empire. You are expected to work. Work good for the king. Work good for the emperor. Work good for God. Now, I'll close it out with the uh, closing prayer they give you at the end of the, of the lesson. So, pray this with me if you don't mind. Esteemed Father and Creator of all that is good, I shall not wander from your path. With each passing test and tribulation, my faith in you is reinforced. And I ask that you help me strengthen the faith of all those around me. Sustain me, O Lord, with your power so that I may go from this place as a faithful child of you, filled with the Holy Spirit, for all to witness. In the name of Christ, I humbly pray this to you. Amen. You know, even in this movement, I've seen people that, because life got a little hard or a trial came their way, they were like, oh, I'm going to join degeneracy now just because life is hard. And I'm like, you can't endure? Endure in God. Endure in God. You know who I'm talking about if you're listening. But the point is, life's going to get hard for all of us. Don't give up. Don't turn your back on God. Stand strong as an immovable object, a rock in faith, because through faith comes salvation. Through works comes conviction. Stay strong out there.
do not fall to temptation. And may the God Emperor Jesus Christ be with you all.